Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here for the 9 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network Market Update. And we're looking at the uh, Dow Futures up 236 at 40,428. Uh, this is going to be very interesting. Can this pre-market uh, very strong rally be held all the way through to maybe 1030 this morning? My indicator said to subscribers uh, that yesterday's very high trend gauge reading, should I mention this in the den yesterday at about uh, 345, that there was a signal to say that we should have good futures rally overnight and how it holds into Friday morning is going to be uh, key. So, so far, the S&P, this is the E-mini continuous contract up 38.75, uh, very good action, but it is in the sell mode in the daily charts, it's going to take them, not the weekly. Weekly hasn't even given a sell signal yet. So we'll see how much we can get of a bounce. You want to see next week the at 50, at 54 for 80. By next week, you want to see 55.42 to 55.60 uh, attempted at least. We, uh, you definitely don't want to see 5,400 because that's going to uh, lengthen the timeout. If you're looking at the NQ, that's the uh, NASDAQ futures. Uh, up 181, 19,173. Unlike the uh, the Dow and even the S&P yesterday, the Dow had almost a 500-point intraday rally, and then it gave back and only closed up 83. So the um, NASDAQ hasn't done that, had an ugly candle, made a low and low yesterday. So that's going to struggle. The winners, the former winners, are taking a time, well-earned timeout, while the uh, laggards are starting to rally very nicely. That's what we're looking at. RTY is the Russell 2000, talking about the laggards becoming the leaders. It's up 27 to 2,267. If uh, next week we can see 2330 and the I IWM cash itself, if we can see 232 touched, that's going to be really important for that monthly chart. Let's go to uh, uh, cop, uh, gold. Gold right now is up 24. It's in this sideways consolidation. If you look at the month, the weekly chart and the monthly, but the daily charts had a very sharp pullback. Uh, it should try to hold, but I think that it might make have to make a little bit lower low coming into next week. You're looking at the dollar. The dollar is actually holding okay. It's not doing great. It's at 104.38. Uh, crude oil right now is trading down 61 it just it's had a tough time but those bonds we're watching them closely because they are up a half a point they need to go up about two points from here over the next week and a half to really say yields are coming down they aren't yet have a wonderful rest of the day stay tuned for great programming